it's Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot and I'm here to share with you a new project and this is using the new release dies for October and I'm going to show you real quick what I used and what is also new. So some of the new dies are these new dies, these are cards, um, the Slimline dies. So what you get is there is this one here which is cards 181 that has the rough edges really fun die to play with. Can't wait to use that one. And then we also have this one here. This is 182 and it's got, I can kind of see it there. It has the dots along with the scallop edges with the holes in them. So it would kind of give you almost like a lacy effect. And the one that I used for this album is number 181 cards and it's got the little scalloped edges and the ones inside along with a um, third piece that is full of um, stitch lines so that's fun to use also new out is the mix and match so there is number 11 and these are just fun little extra elements to use so these are going to come really handy on future projects so this one's number 11 these are smooth there is also number 12 with the stitch lines and that's one I happen to use making this album and then number 13, which has the dots. So I know they're hard to see. I don't know if you can take it out. You can kind of see the dots there. And then also when I made this album so far, what we've used is I used the medium and the large pocket die from Core Journals and Planners. And then I used on the edge die number 47. So let me take you on a quick walkthrough of our album. So in the, the second video that I'm going to have, it's going to have, we're going to go ahead and attach the binding system to this and then we're going to make all of our tags and photo mats and stuff to go in this album. So right here on the front cover is this cute little cow and I am using graphic, I'm using the graphic 45 farmhouse paper pad and I use the 8x8, I use some other pieces from some of the rest but um, from patterns and solids, I think, but for the most part, I'm using the 8x8 pad. So, um, this is going to be our front cover right here, a cute little cow. And then, as you flip over, you're going to have a page with a little corner pocket. And I think this is the order I'm going to put them, but we shall see once I go to put it together. So, the backs are like this. And then this page here will have a set of stacked pockets, and it'll be put tags in each one. And then as we go over here, this page is going to have a couple little um, photo mats. And then this page here has got the little belly band used those, using those new mix and matches. And we're going to hang something down from here. And then this page here is going to be an open pocket and we're going to create an insert to go right in there. So this will be the center of the album I'm thinking. And then, again, same thing, so then it just works its way opposite now, so the one with the belly beam. This one here with the photo mats, although I think I might switch this one out, because I kind of want to have the first flip with um, the nice little card on the front. And then again, a set of stack pockets. And then this will be the inside of the back cover with a little ankle pocket and then the back side of the cover. Alrighty, so anyway, I can't wait to put this together, but in the meantime, go ahead and watch the videos, and I walk you through how I created all these pages. Alright, enjoy guys! Alright, so we're going to get started on a new project, and this is using the new release dies for October, and some of the new items are these new card dies, and I am going to be working with cards number 181, and this has the stitch lines in it. So real quick, let's see. So this would be the background piece. It's got the little scallop edges, and then you can see pretty well with this one. Oops. Get it lined up for you. You can see how pretty that is. And then my pattern paper, which has got the pretty little stitch lines, which you're not going to be able to see. 
um, but very cute. And they also came out with a couple others. So this one is 182, and it, it, the two pieces have the dots along with the scalloped edges as well with the centers that are open. And this is number 183 with all the rough edges, which, as you know, I love using those kind of using the dies with the rough edges, so that's going to be really fun. But I am going to be using 181 right now to go ahead and start our project. So what I did was out of my black card stock, I used the outer piece with the scallop edges. And I cut out of white card stock this next piece, so those were those right there. And then my pattern paper, I cut out of the smallest one with the stitch lines. So that's what we're going to be using to make this album. So I'm not quite sure yet all of what we're doing, but I do know um, some of what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and get started making some of the pages. See how pretty that is just alone, just with the black and the white. Super pretty. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the pages. So which one? Let's go ahead with this one here. So I made two of these. So this is what we're going to make to start with these little photo flaps that open up. Really cute. And I am using the large pocket die. And that would be this one here. So you're going to need to cut out two of the pockets along with, don't forget, you're cutting out these pieces here. And then I used craft colored cardstock for my photo mats. And I cut that out with the die that comes in this for cover in the pocket. All right, so I have those already cut out. So let me go ahead and we'll make this one to match this page. So I've already inked my edges already. And let's get my pockets first. So for the pockets, I am going to go ahead and fold down the top and the bottom. If you want, you can always cut these off. However, I prefer to tape them down just because I like the nice folded over edge that you get and I think it just looks a little cleaner. So burnish that down and we'll go ahead and stick it down. Oops. And then we're just going to go ahead and get this one folded too. And then I'm going to add tape to that one. And then same thing with this one. I think this album is going to go together fairly easy. So we'll see if I'm going to end up with one part, a full video, or we'll go into two parts. I don't think it's going to need three. Because I think this is going to be a simple, fun one to go ahead and make. And get my tape on. I know when I was trying to find ideas to do this, there wasn't a whole lot of albums made with like the slim die cards like that. So this one's going to be kind of fun. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, my pattern piece, I'm going to go ahead and set down my pocket right on top. I'm going to make sure I am all the way to the edge and fold that over just so I know it's nice and tight. So there's my first flap. And then I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to stagger it. So. I want to put this one down at the bottom, and this happens to be the exact size of the pattern. There's just a little sliver between the two, so they do fold over nice, and there is no jamming up of anything there. So that was nice. All right, I have that. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue down my pattern paper to my weight piece, just like that. You could tape it if you prefer. 
I'm running low on tape, so I'm gluing, and I've been kind of trying to use glue more. So, kind of forcing myself to use glue. And there's no reason, just what I always kind of go towards. That's on there, and then now I can go ahead and attach this one, just like that. And put this one on. Open up my flap so I can press the glue down. And then all I got to do now is just add my craft card stock to my photo mats. And that's just to break it up. That way it's you're not just looking at black card stock on there. it over and do the other side. That one. And then let's get this one stuck down, seeing how glue already went on that. And the nice thing about these dies is you don't have to guess about sizing or measuring. Everything's done for you. You just got to cut it out in your machine. And there we go. So that's one page already done with photo mats, room to place photos and stuff there if you want. And then when we add them to the book, the pages will be like back to back. But I'm not going to, these ones here will probably be together. So I'll probably have them, this might be my center pages. We'll see. We'll see what we get going. Might even be on different pages. But anyway, that's how you're going to make those. So go ahead and make two of them and then we will figure out the next ones. All right, so we're going to move on to my front and back covers real quick because I already know what I'm doing for those. So I went ahead and cut out. The front is going to have this little farmhouse, and then the back is just going to say life is better on the porch, and I figured those were a cute set for the front and the back covers, so let's get those attached down. So glue these ones. And I'm doing this because I figured out already what I want to do for my inside front and back covers. So might as well get these ones down. Oh, it's so cute. Fun fact, I grew up on a farm. So this paper was super cute when I saw it. And I also used to milk cows for a first job and I still have the battle wounds from that one. There's that, and then let's do the back cover. I've been holding on to this paper for a little bit because I didn't know what I wanted to do. But then with these dies, I was looking at the paper, and a lot of the paper for this one fits um, this direction here. So I thought it would be cute to go ahead and use this one. 
And I also hoarded quite a bit of it, so I have plenty for another project down the road. Because I can't just buy one of something. All right, so that's going to be really cute for our front and back covers of our book. So put those aside now. Those are done. So the inside front and back covers, I we're going to do a little corner pocket. So I went ahead and did everything the same. The only thing is, let's see, just thinking. Do I want to? I almost think I want to do that. All right, so I am using the medium pocket die. And what you're going to want to do, just unfold it. So on here, where it folds in this corner here, you're literally going to cut diagonal from this corner down to this corner. And then you're going to do the opposite on the other one. So from this corner down. So if it's easier for you to figure out how you're doing it, put the pages together like this. And then that way you know when you cut, that's what you're going to do. All right, so I'm going to cut these real quick and show you. So that's that pocket. And that is that pocket. All right. So now what I think I'm going to do is, if you remember in my last video for my other book, I was having a hard time putting the um, insert in, in it that I had made. And that's because what it was doing was it was getting hung up on my flaps that were inside. So if you put something down, put it on top like this, this these pieces here get caught sometimes. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to stick it like this. And then it will be underneath, and you don't have to worry about anything catching. So I'm going to go ahead and add tape to that. And then that will eliminate the problem of it catching. So keep them in front of you the way they're being set up. And yeah, making sure it's in there nice and tight. And attach it down. And then I'm just going to give it a good burnish so they were nice and folded. So that'll be that one. And let's do the next one. We don't need those pieces. So again. This one attached down. And so we know. Grab it like this. And then make sure we're nice and tight. Push a little into your paper. Burnish it down. So we have that right there. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and attach these, and then we'll put the pattern paper on the front of this one in one second. So let's go ahead and get this on. Center it to the area. And then put it on top of this one. I did use heavier weight cardstock on this just because I knew I wasn't going to have a whole lot of layers to thicken it up. So I did use a little bit of a heavier cardstock. So in the US, um, it's 110 pound. I don't know what the weights are elsewhere. And put this one down. Make sure you do get glue on your pieces that are folding over right there, just to give it a little extra support. That way, if they should, the tape should come loose, 
you're going to be stuck down good with the, with the glue still. Make sure when you're careful when you are gluing it, you don't like go like this and then rip your pocket. I've done that before and things. That's why I flip it over and do the backside. All right, so now I already cut out my pattern papers, which are going to go right there and there. So again, the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and cut at an angle on these, and I still need to ink the edges. So I'm going to pause the camera, ink my edges, and then we'll stick it down. All right, so let me just show you. These were the original piece, and then I cut these pieces off. And now we can go ahead and attach them to our corners. Make sure I give it a dry run to see that it's going to go ahead and line up. If you have to do any trimming, do it before you attach it. that one and then the other side there we go and there we go Super cute. So these are these pages, and then these are going to go, this is my front cover, so this one will be on this with the pocket going towards the inside. That way it'll keep anything from hopefully falling out, so it'll be in towards the spine. And then my back cover, it will be like this, so then the book will open up like that and then these pages I'll figure out where these are going still so all right so let's figure out the next pages so we're going to get started on our next pages and that is going to be a side pocket page and I'm using on the edge die number 47 which is this die right here you can see it and you can see how cute that looks so again mirror imaging to what we are making so we're going to start off with the black piece first and we're going to go ahead and attach our die so the nice thing about these little scallop edges here they you can only use them for counting and i've already figured out where this needs to go so i'm going to count six indentations so one two three five six and this part here is going to go into the six hole and one, two, three, four, five, six. So it lines up perfectly just like that. So you don't have to guess on this one. Some of the dies you get lucky with, you can line them up like that. So I'm going to cut this out real quick. And I'm afraid to stop my, my computer is having issues. So I'm afraid to stop it because it might not play nice again. So let's get that one cut out. All right, here's this one. So, take that one off. And let's get my paper out of here. Let's see if we can reuse that. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Um, and where is, you know what, I didn't cut my papers. Darn it all. All right. Oh, no, I did. Never mind. And then this one here is going to go right on top. So you want to line it up to exactly where it's supposed to go. And then you can add this. So when I add my next piece, I look to see where it cut out. 
and I try to line up where my marks are here and here to the die. And go ahead and cut that piece out. Hopefully that tape sticks. And we'll do this one. We have this here. So let's see if we line up. Still good. So put everything where it needs to go. And I have a nice black border there. So that worked out perfect. And then now we're going to do the same thing again with our pattern paper. So then I can go ahead and do the same here. And then once I have it, let's stick this down and cut that one out. All right, so now this one is cut out. And let me just ink that edge real quick. And then we can just go ahead and layer them all up. So let's just make sure that one cut out nice. And looks good to me. Let's go ahead and stick them all together. Now remember, whatever backside page this goes to, you need to go ahead and add some pattern paper to that back page because of this being a pocket. So you're going to need some pattern paper on that one. And then we line all right up here pretty. Make sure. Test it out. Looks good. Stick it down. Close to the edge. Okay. There we go. So now I'm just going to grab one of these to show you. So when it does, when it is on the page, you'll have a nice opening over here. And we might use some of the binding the uh, mini album binding systems to make sure like our page will be a little wider on that. Anyway, that's those two pages there now. Moving on to the next. So we're going to create another page and this one is going to have a little belly band at the top and we're going to hang some stuff down from that. So I went ahead, got these pieces cut, and some of the other new release dies that came out are these mix and match pieces, which these are just fun little elements to add. So I decided I was going to create a belly band using mine, but the new ones that came out are number 11, and that is smooth lines, number 13, which has the dotted lines on it. It's hard to tell. And then also number 12, which has the stitch lines. So I went ahead and used the one with the stitch lines. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And I'm just going to center it to my spot. These are the cute little beltings. If you're doing a um, kind of like a something with a belt on it, or even if you were doing, um, I'm doing a different binding system, but you could even use them on something like this and then they wrap around your binding which possibly I might use that kind of like that we'll see where we end up going with that but I might do something like that alright so then what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and just fold over a little piece of this just like this and then I actually measured down an inch and a half and that's where I'm going to put this one so what you want to do is go ahead and lay it across but you don't want it to be super tight. So if you were to fold this over right now, this is going to be really snug. 
So I'm using my ruler. It's got a little thickness to it. So I'm, I'm just going to put it in the middle here like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold over here. So when it does get attached, it's not going to be so tight. So let's go ahead and get that attached down and I'll show you. So glue on one side. And I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Right there. So now when you come over, if you see, it's not a lot, but it's not quite snug up against the edge. When you glue it down, you want to make it snug so it has a little bit of a bow to it. So you can kind of see that there's a, there's a small bow to it. If you push this against, if you leave it flat and fold it over, you'll have a little bit that kind of hangs over. You don't want that. You want it to have it so it creates a bend. So let's go ahead and get that glued down. And don't hold the strap. Just hold here and just push this part against the paper and then just fold this over. So let me get that to stick the glue. So now you can see there is a little bit of a bend there. That way, whatever you put in here, you can go ahead and it's going to stick down there. It's not going to be snug. Because if it's too snug, you're never going to get your pieces attached or tucked inside. You'll be limited. So now we can go ahead and attach it all. And I think this video will be in two, pot, two parts. Do you see that? I almost ripped that off. That's why I say flip it over and do the back side. Um, this is going to be in two parts. Um, for one reason, my camera is messing up. My computer is not playing nice. So we're going to do two parts. So we're going to create two more pages. And then um, the second video, we'll, we'll attach them all together and we'll make our inserts. So, looks good there, flip it over. All right, so now we have those two. All right, one more page to make. So on the last page, we're going to go ahead and create a set of stacked pockets so we can put tags and photo mats in here. However, the dies that I have, um, the medium pocket die is just a little too big, so I had to make my own. So what I did was I measured four inches across, and I scored it a half an inch on each end and a half an inch at the bottom. The first pocket is going to be two inches. So. I cut this piece at four, um, two and a half, I'm sorry. The open spot is two. So four by two and a half, and then two others that are four by two. So what I did was I went ahead and added tape to all of those. We're going to go ahead and cut our corners off. And then I just like to snip the, the little corners a bit. So as you can see, I'm cutting right through my score lines, right where it makes meets up for the X, and then just whacking the corners. Just like that. And then I cut my pattern paper, which is a quarter inch smaller. So let's go ahead and get this part together first. So just like all of them, we're going to go ahead and attach them all together. Just like that. And then this piece here.
There we go. Looks good to me. And now we are going to take our pockets. So the bottom piece is the one where you put tape on all three sides. So go ahead and fold them down. And I'm just going to burnish them so they're folded nice and tight. And then this one here is going to go almost to the bottom and I'm going to leave equal border all the way around. So let me just turn it so I can get it. And stick that one down there. And then my next pocket is going to be the one with these two are the exact same size and we're going to put them on the exact same way. So all I'm doing with these is just folding the sides. I'm not going to fold the bottom because we're going to tuck that into here just like that. All right. And then the same thing with the next one. Tuck it in right there. Make sure you test every piece. It's easier to test it before you remove your adhesive or the tape backing or glue or whatever. You'd always want to give it a test run just to make sure that it's going to all line up. Now I already have my pattern pieces. And I cut them out so together so you can see the full picture like that. And then I'm going to attach them. So the bottom piece. And the middle one. And there we go. So there we have our two set of stacked pockets. So we went ahead and created those stacked pockets. We also went ahead and made our, let's see, our front and back covers. So these are the front and the back covers. We went ahead and made our two corner pockets. We made our page with a little belly band at the top that we're going to have a little hanging or tucked in element there. We also made our two pages with our photo mats that flip out, as well as our two pages that will have side pockets um, that we can go ahead and attach something into. All right, so anyway, we are going to wrap this video up right here. We will come back for a part two to go ahead and do the binding system. And then we'll also go ahead and attach our pages and make all of our cute little photo mats and stuff for all of this. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and I cannot wait to put this album together. It's going to be really exciting. So if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, Patty's Crafty Spot, or you're watching it on the Creelys YouTube channel, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.